Scattered from the bottom, now we're here. Scattered from the bottom, now we're motherfucking here. Oh, hi. Um, it's Leah Alia Cornish Ward. Uh, reporting from the sunny climes. Actually, it's quite dark out there, so it's not sunny. Uh, Victoria Park, where the coffee is great, but the drivers are shit. Okay, I'm reporting for Roots TV off my couch again because I can't be bothered doing the whole proper TV reporting thing for the Looking Glass program. Mm. Well, a couple of Fridays ago, we had um, a sort of strange phenomenon on social media, sort of revolving around a blue dress, a blue dress with gold, gold lace, white dress with blue lace, purple, pink, I don't know. But who gives a shit? It was the crappest dress ever. In fact, the entire world seemed to get really bent out of shape about a dress that a prostitute on the corner of McMaster Street and Albany Highway would not wear to pick up a, draw, uh, a John for a bit of hanky-panky. Uh, I mean, I could sort of get behind it if it was a pair of Le Bar Le Bouton, Le Bouton. How, how the hell do you say that? A pair of shoes. But no, it was a really shit dress. And um, it sort of threw into sharp relief about how we all have different perceptions of reality, you know. Apparently it was some chick on her site. She had this dress and people started going, oh, that's a nice blue and black dress and then somebody else said it was gold and white and all of this kind of stuff and then it just took off but it's sort of it was suddenly there all over the place and people were like getting really into this and you know suddenly there are all these like experts talking about this dress you know like hitting different rods and cones in our eyes and and stuff like that and it was all very quick and and i kind of think well it was a bit suspicious because it caused, sort of called to mind in 2012 a Facebook experiment that involved 700,000 users of Facebook where the owners of Facebook or whoever, which malevolent bunch of gins run it, um, sort of manipulating algorithms to uh, sort of change people's feeds so that they were either too positive or too negative and they were trying to measure how people reacted to this and I thought yeah this is interesting and I'm just wondering if there's a kind of singularity being reached in social media where they've managed to tweak it so much that um, they can release all of this crap that sort of gets us sort of worrying about dresses and shoes and cats rather than the real shit that's going down on the world and so i started snooping around and trying to find out what else happened on friday and yeah i've got my little bit of <laughs> very scant research here because i have a day job and but anyway i'll read it out to you um, okay, there was a data retention report released by the government on Friday afternoon, that same Friday. Um, these data retention laws make it very hard for journalists to protect their sources, in particular government whistleblowers. Hmm. Very strange. Then there was um, also a black site uh, discovered in Chicago, Illinois. Actually, strangely enough, it's been there for ages, but it sort of hit Alex Jones's radar at that particular time, and they sent out Staff Sergeant Biggs to have a little bit of a look at it. And um, apparently what's happening in this black site, which is very similar to the CIA black sites that they render people to in other countries to avoid treaties, extradition laws, all of this kind of stuff in the US. They were torturing people and they were violating their fourth and fifth amendment rights. The fourth right being um, you cannot um, do an illegal search or seizure on a person's 
body, property, car, etc., without a warrant, right? Um, and then there's the Fifth Amendment, right, that you're not compelled to uh, be a witness against yourself. Um, hence, Miranda rights being read to people, you know, that one where they go, you have the right to remain silent, you know, that one. So, and there's a whole heap of other interesting violations of the Bill of Rights and the Constitution uh, applied at these places. So, and apparently, surprise, surprise, there's about five more suspected to be in the USA. So, it was an interesting day for news. And I'm just thinking, well, you know, that's not a conspiracy theory. Um, that's just, you know, it's just a little bit of, I don't know, coincidency, fluffy stuff. Um, yeah, so thank you for the story input, guys, um, from Facebook. Um, you know, um, I think I've covered conspiracy theories. I've touched a bit on shoes. Um, apparently one of you has a phobia of evil chickens. So um, this is my little gift to you. And... Bye. <laughs>